Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to look on Windows 10 at the, ta the task manager today and we're going to look at a few features that maybe you don't know exists within the task manager when something's happening. Now the first thing I'm going to show you of course is how to open the task manager but of course if your computer is running right you have the ability to right click on the start button and go into task manager on your screen. Now that's one way, but maybe um, your mouse pointer is frozen, maybe something's not right. Of course, you also have the control alt delete, which actually will take you out and let you uh, go into the task manager if you wish. But a very quick way with a keyboard shortcut that works fine also. Remember, three keys, control, Shift, Escape. So CTRL, the uh, Shift key, which sometimes is represented by an arrow, an up arrow, and the Escape key on the upper left of your keyboard. If you press all three together, you get the Task Manager. So there's another way to actually have it started. Now the first thing that, of course, most people will do here, and the reason the Task Manager is used most of the time for everybody is when a process is actually uh, frozen. So say that you have an app that's running and that app is not responding. Well, one of the things that you have is to look into the processes and you can actually look at what process, the, the search, search for the name of the process that you want. You can actually click the name tab on the top so that they are in alphabetical order, make it easy to actually uh, search for and then you search of course for the app that you don't want to work and that you think is a problem then of course when you click on that task you have the ability to um, of course you can right click on it and end the task and that will end the task of this uh, process so that is something that a lot of us might be using if an app actually freezes um, you know, it doesn't mean because one particular app freezes that the computer has problems or Windows has problems. It could be that particular app that has some bug in the code. So it can happen that an app freezes, but the rest of the system works fine. So you can, of course, like I said, open up the task manager, go into the process tab, right click on the process that you want to close and just click end task. This will actually have that task um, shut down so you can actually start it again. Very often um, it is the only way that a frozen app might actually behave and be able to close down. You might you know click the uh, the X on the upper right. you might be uh, even you know right clicking on on the uh, the process itself to try to find a way to close the window and it still doesn't behave so, the task manager is a more brutal way of doing it, but it will work most of the time when an app is frozen. So that's the first thing, um, which is the most common that most people will do. But I'm going to show you other tricks today with the um, task manager that actually you might not know that you could do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.